guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. You know what? The holidays are coming up and Sonos makes for great gifts. Here's everything you need to know about Sonos so you can outfit you or your special someone. Welcome to the Geek. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by... Blender.com. So Sonos is... One of our favorite gadgets, one of my favorite gadgets. I don't know about you, John. I am standing under a Sono shower at the moment. Uh, nice. Except that it's not it's on. It's invisible. It's not on. Oh, it would be like you an were, invisible I thought you were, shower. I thought it was going to be invisible. It, it, it could be, but, but it, it would also right, be inaudible. <laughs> because right now, so I am standing under this Kef CI series speaker. So we have a combination of things. First thing that you need to know, Let's first let's back up and tell yes. them. What is a Sonos? What is it? So Sonos is a wireless stereo speaker system that you can outfit your entire house or here, your entire office, although this is our house, so mm -hmm. we have gone crazy with it. Um, and it, it allows you to control the speakers with your app on your phone or your computer yep. or wherever. They have virtually every platform. I mean, yeah. they've got PC, Mac, Android, iOS. You I think they even have in. Windows, don't they? Windows uh, Phone. Even. Not Windows Phone yet, but oh, okay. I don't believe. Well, they've got everything. Um, but they and no one has everything. Windows Phone. <laughs> That's okay. They barely have a oh, phone. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Microsoft. <laughs> but you know what? You can play uh, your local music. You can play any service out there, almost Spotify, Radio, Pandora, Pandora Google, uh, Google Music, Song. Songs, songs uh, 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 we can't. There's like a hundred services yeah. that it'll stream. Yeah. So you can play whatever the heck you want across your entire home or office, and you can actually split it up. So if you have different services or whatever, you can play different things in different rooms. We're gonna get to that in a second. I actually have all sorts of tips and tricks nice. for you that I'm super excited by. There's one other thing. I've been using. I use it at home, at the office, everywhere. We both do. We yeah. both have. Them. Uh, at our houses yeah. and everything. There's one other thing you have to be aware of, which is that the Sono system is modular. It's made up of different components. There are small little baby speakers, big speakers, sound bars, subwoofers, and there's even amplifiers so you can bring your own speakers. And, and guess so what? We have, well, I think every single product that's we're gonna show here you, at the Geek House. We're gonna show you every single one of them here in just a minute. But <gasps> we're gonna start with this one because- the shower. As we were saying, our sonic shower here, these are Kef CI series speakers. Now these are really high-end speakers. The reason why I think this matters is because I was, I hate to admit it, but I was a little skeptical about driving these with our Sonos amp originally. Right. Because these are like $800 <laughs> each, each one of these two the ceiling speakers, not speakers. The Sonos. The speakers, yeah. okay. And we are driving these with a Sonos Connect amp. amp which is a $500 amp, will drive one pair of speakers, you can send anything you want to it, you can run in party mode or, or individually. And I was worried that these are so high-end speakers, could it drive them? And how would they sound? But I am here to report to you, my good friends, that this is proof mm -hmm. that those little Sonos amps can drive any level of quality speaker even super amazing ones and sound right. fantastic. So that's yeah. a big deal. They're, they are fantastic. Uh, let's go to the kitchen where we it. are having lunch breaks. Uh, you know, we get together as a family, or I like to think we do. Um, we have the Sonos Play one. Play one here. This is the little baby one. It's $199. And as you can see, it's just, it's really portable. It's great for apartments, small spaces. Is it battery powered? Uh, no, it's not battery not powered. Battery powered. Uh, good question, though. Yes, very good question. However, it does sound fantastic. Mm -hmm. It sounds bigger than it is. We have that one thing. It will easily give us enough music in this room or whatever we want yeah. to listen to 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 be satisfying, yeah. you know? But and, and usually in a setting like this, you're talking, so you don't want it to be super loud, right? It it's ambient. not party mode. That's it's right. an ambient. However, of. however, we only have one in here. We could put mm -hmm. two. We could put one on yes. either side, Those and then in the software, you can group them together as a pair. So you can use just one, or you can use two, and right. you can do that with any of the speakers. So this is the baby one. This is the Play One. one. 
a baby. What are we going to look at next? Now we're going to go look at, we're going to get to the Play 3 and Play 5, but right now we're going to a small conference room in order to look at the sound, the sound bar. bar. Now this is the beautiful sound bar. It's $6.99 and we have it connected to this uh, TV that we use for you know, piping in Apple TV presentations, that kind of thing here in the conference room. Now, we use it here in the conference room, but you'll notice we also have this on this awesome Ergotron stand, yeah. which allows us to roll it out of here. And we wanted to be able to have the sound bar always attached and available with the TV. What if we wanted, for example, to just watch a movie on this TV somewhere, but we wanted to have awesome sound? That's why, where this comes you, in. Why right? are you watching movies during work? I. That's all I do. I don't really oh. work. Curly. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't really work. Am I the uh, only one? Anywho, let me show you. Come around to the back, Gabe. I wanted to see how we mounted this because the TV mounts on the stand with, the, with this bracket. But you see there's two little, it's a little, I don't know if you can quite get to it, but there you go. There's, it's like a little L-shaped bracket here. And we got these off of Amazon. They were dirt cheap, like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. And it allowed us to use the same mounting screws that were holding the TV to hold the sound bar right below the TV. It's very adjustable. It can go up and down and everything else. It's fantastic. So now we can carry it with us anywhere. The other thing to note is, remember how we were telling you that the Play 1s could be used as a pair? Yes. Well, although we use this in our conference room, we could use this for a home theater setup and you could take this plus a couple of the Play 1s or play threes or play fives and, and them put them together. in the back, uh -huh. right? Like your total surround sound is yeah. actually a setting in the software yeah. that you can group them together and have like 5.1 surround right. because you can also add the subwoofer. Yes. But we need to show them what the subwoofer, the subwoofer looks like. It's actually in your office. Let's I don't know do how it wound up in your office. Because I like to go boom. Okay, look at this black lacquered beauty right here. I have to say, I love the look of this sub. It is beautiful. And it's unique. I yeah. mean, no one else builds a sub like this. What it's got are right in here, there are two drivers. You can kind of hear if I tap on it. So those two drivers, although they're not huge, they make for really, really nice deep bass. And I can pretty much bother everybody around us. Um, yeah. Uh, pretty much is maybe an understatement. So. But, yeah, so you can use that. That's six ninety nine. dollars uh, Both John and I, if you remember from yesterday's show, I have a messy office, so we're not in my office, but we both have the Play 3s. I love these things. Uh, it's it's slightly bigger than the Play 1, yep. and uh, it's three ninety nine. dollars Or wait, but is this it two ninety nine? dollars This one is $2.99. This is $2.99. The bigger brother, the Play, the Play 5, 5, which we're going to show you in a second. Is $3.99. But again, these offer great sound. They fill the room. And again, right in this room, I have only one of these yeah. paired with the sub. Or we could have paired two of these with the sub. Yeah. All these things mix and match together. You can go stereo, all that. All right, let's go take a look. Uh, let's let's go to the audio, audio cabinet. cabinet. Yeah. As you can see, this is bigger than the Play 3. This is the Play 5. Uh, this is the one I first started with. And to be honest, whether I'm on the Play 3 or the Play 5, uh, I'm happy. Uh, even the Play 1 is great. But I have to say, I really, uh, I mean, the oh. Play 5 is about, yeah. I love these handles yeah, on the, on the, the integrated Play 3s handles and 5s. Fantastic. But I have to say, here's my, here's my advice. Don't buy the Play 3. Oh! <laughs> Just buy the Play 5. I, I mean, the Play 3 sounds good, but if you're going to spend $300, spend $400 because this one does sound that much better. It sounds more than $100 better. It sounds like twice as good. Yeah. So for, for me, and you know these what? The are the shape, ones to have. The shape of this as well, it fits well on a bookcase. Like at home, I have this one on a little bookcase, which is kind of short and so I don't have a lot of width right and so that fits perfectly also because the edges are kind of uh, angled it fits well in the yes, corner it does I have it, it I have them in the corner. corner now one thing I want to show you also on the back here is that you, you talked earlier about the fact that this is a wireless system mm -hmm. which it is but it also has Ethernet capabilities yes. so that's important because um, if you are in a, a house where you have lots and lots of wireless devices 
and you want to avoid some of that traffic, although mm -hmm. this sets up its own network. It doesn't, yes, it doesn't, yeah, that. it doesn't use the traffic of your network, but still it creates additional burden of wireless interference. So if you have the ability to plug in via ethernet, I would highly recommend doing that. Why are there two? Um, because you can actually, that's a good question, you can pass through. So let's say you had one ethernet jack that was plugged into mm -hmm. a computer. What you could do is take it out of the computer, plug it into here, then plug one from here into the computer, it acts as a switch. So you can see why with all this stuff that these aren't cheap. Well, no. They're not ridiculously expensive, but I mean, they have switches built into them, they have Wi-Fi built into them, they have lots of software, it's and a, they sound great. It's a whole great. system that you can do a lot with, and they continue, like I said earlier, to add updates to give you the ability to, with your existing system, do more. Yeah. Now, let's talk also, you'll notice in here we've got more of those KEF in-ceiling speakers, and we were talking about the fact that these things are driven by the Sonos Connect amp. Correct. So this, this is the 399 amp. This is what it is. It four, is it 399 I thought it was 499 Let me just double check my I notes. I think it's my $500. Here. But it's just Connect as, amp. Yeah, you're right. It's four, $499. Yeah, 500 bucks. The Connect it, itself is 349 That's right. The, the Connect amp, what it has, it's got some banana post, uh, you know, push, push connectors here for one set of speakers, left and right. It also has um, analog audio inputs. It has a subwoofer output. And it has, again, a switch built into it. So you can actually daisy chain these. The way we have this, th these set up in our rack. So wait, this is, this is like the guts, guts of this, this without the speaker. That's right. If Bring you, your own speakers. Hook that's up right. your caps or whatever. Take the amplifier and the smart intelligence out of this, put them in their own standalone box with, I think, a little more power. And that's what this is. And so and then we have all of this set up in here. Uh, so we have the the connects here. This is a bridge. So the no, bridge actually, is that's the, Oh, I'm sorry. Is this Yeah, the this bridge is, the, is actually in our network, which oh, yeah, I don't right. think we even planned on we showing you we that, but show maybe you that, but they will pop there in there. There is a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> this so this is the difference between there's one other thing we have going on in here. You notice we have our Sony receiver here and we have two big daddy Kef subwoofers in the room and we have these big daddy Kef speakers up front. This, the receiver is the only thing powerful enough to drive those. You truly couldn't drive them with the little Connect amp. So what we use is the Connect Play, right. which is $349. This is basically an amp without the amp. It's got all the intelligence, it's got the switch, it's got all that stuff, but this we have connected to this using an optical fiber cable so it's very clean and then from here this will drive the, the the stereo so the reason we would do that is if you you wanted to listen to your playlist on right. spotify, spotify you could push it out mm -hmm. through the big daddy speakers using that i don't think anyone wants me to do that <laughs> <laughs> I think they're really sick of me listening to I'm on a boat is the, is the deal. There are other songs, John. Yeah, not many, but... Um, well, I, I hope you guys are having fun learning. I'm about to sh teach you some new things I don't even think you know about, John. I don't know much, About the so. new updates with Sonos. Before we do, if you like this whole learning process and seeing new things and, and filling your brain with knowledge, you can do a lot more of that at lynda.com right. slash geekbeat because they teach you everything. You can learn Photoshop, world. you can learn videography, you could learn uh, 3D animation. Uh, yeah, I was business. I was going down the business path with Microsoft apps and yes. things like that. You could probably even learn some engineering stuff. I don't think and maybe they teach even, you your ABCs, though. Maybe even build your own Sonos competitor, although I wouldn't oh, recommend it. Oh, oh. Sonos has got a stranglehold Slamming on that down. market. Stranglehold. <laughs> go to geekbeat.com go to no. lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. Geekbeat. And you get seven days for free. Yeah, seven days of all you can eat knowledge. For all free. right, now. Um, so are we going to tell them, we've been telling them about the modular nature uh -huh. of these things, but we haven't really shown them how does the app work? How do you get to, to yeah. what, what does it do? We are going to show it to you. So 
first and foremost, uh, you're going to be able to con control entire Sonos system. So yeah. regardless if it's a Play 1, a Play 3, anything, you set it up and it's super simple to set up. And you can name your you can name your speakers anything you want. You can, you can give them little icons for where they're ours located. Here, the Geek House named after each room, so mm -hmm. lounge or up desk central, that kind of thing. Um, we should rename my office to I'm on a boat central. Uh, maybe Why not. not. Well, it's your office, so you can do that. <laughs> um, what I what I think we use here the most in the Geek House is grouping. So I, I touched on that before. You can actually group different sec different speakers and play one thing and play a completely different. Um, you know, playlist uh, from your Spotify account or Pandora account on that other group. So, or anywhere, instance, anywhere. Just to be clear, for those of you who are not familiar, like you, for example, I could be in my office mm -hmm. on mine playing something that's media. I could be playing. I'm on a boat right off of my phone with a, a, an MP3 on my phone. Correct. That could be playing to that while you're in your office playing. Playing my Spotify not playlist. I'm on a boat. Um, and I can group that with the, uh, let's say, the studio, That's so right. that as I get ready to go shoot, I go into the studio and I'm Still ready the same thing. to play, and it's the, the same thing. So we can, or, you can just switch it up however you want. Or they have party mode. That's true. Where we turn every speaker in the building with one click onto the same song and we yes. did that for example like uh, at our grand opening right. at 3d palooza and things like mm -hmm. that so we can have that ba background ambient noise coming off everything exactly. from one source all at the same time now what's new they just added the ability recently i'm not sure exactly when but i i just found it that they added the ability to add multiple accounts. So before you could only have one Spotify account. Yeah. So we were all listening to David Foster's Spotify yeah. account. I don't, I don't like it. See, nobody Boo. liked it. I liked it. <laughs> only the two of them liked it. The rest of us like, yeah. <laughs> And then you could have one Pandora account or one songs or whatever. Yeah. So now you can add multiples. So now and switch between them, David right? and mine is in there. I'm trying to get you to put I don't have yours a, I don't in. have a, a Spotify. Oh, okay. I have Pandora. Well, then we'll add and yours I have Google. in there. And you have Google, so mm. you can add that, uh, which is really And I have cool. Amazon. So then you can pull from whatever song choices you Including want. Including iTunes. That's the one that no one's mentioning. Oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot. True. We also you know, you know, the, the <laughs> standard... <laughs> The standard yes. by which all are set. Right. <laughs> and in fact, let's touch on that for a second. Yes. Because if you have a network like a little NAS server, like a QNAP, a Synology, yes. a Drobo, a, a big 45 mm -hmm. drives unit, a Thekus, what you can do is you can take your music collection, put them in the network. Yes. Now, why is this important? Here's why this is important. One super huge feature of Sonos is if you, if you are playing content from a device other than like your phone. You know, I told you I could play an MP3 off my phone, but if I turn my phone off, music stops. However, no, it doesn't. If, if I'm playing the MP3 directly oh, off my phone, the music yes. stops. However, if you had your iTunes collection on a network attached storage device in your network, or if you were playing um, from Songza or from or, Amazon or, or Spotify yeah, or anything any like that, any of those, you can turn off your phone. Or you can close your computer. Close your computer. What, the music keeps playing. And then. It logs it. Then you could go to another device. So you could start playing something on your phone in one room. Mm -hmm. And then you go in the other room and you could, could, you could change it on right. your computer. And then you could go in another room and you could pull up your tablet. It's very dynamic. And you can actually go from network to network to network and have, di and it will remember all of your different um, houses, for instance. So your work, your house, your friend's house. Uh, if it she will comes switch over, on a dime. If she comes over to my house, for example, and she has permission to, to, right. to sync up with my system, when she walks in the door, she can start playing her music. I can take over. Ooh, can I go to your house? No. Tonight, maybe dinner no. tonight? No. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, <laughs> the other thing that I've been using heavily recently, so, you know, I, I tend to set an alarm. I tend to wake up early, but I always set an alarm just in case my body doesn't wake me up. Well, I used to have the alarm on my phone. That's what like, I do. Wah, 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 and you know, that's annoying. 
But now but it, it gets you up. It does. It get does you get up. you up. But what's even nicer is when I get to wake up to my songs that I love and have a playlist going that How will do do wake that? me up. You can do it with Sonos. So you can you set can Sonos to be your alarm clock? set an alarm clock. And you can choose the playlist. You can choose how long it'll go, which rooms it will go into. Can you set more than one alarm? Yes. So like if the kids had one in their room, uh -huh. you could set an alarm for one exactly. time and one station. And then on your room, you could set a different for alarm. For different times. I didn't even know that. Isn't that awesome? I literally learned that right now. I know. It's, it's, it's just amazing fantastic. what you learn watching Geek Beat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> being on Geek Beat. <laughs> That's about it for the tips and tricks that I have. If you guys know of anything that we didn't mention, definitely let us know because like I said, we use this day in and day out and uh, we want to take full advantage of it too. There's one last thing that I want to say about Sonos. Do I need to leave you alone with no, the audience? No, no, it's a okay. touching moment. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. So the one thing, when you start looking at the Sonos components, this is something that I went through in the beginning and I think everybody will. When you start looking at them, you're like, like, that's oh. a that's a big investment. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, from a, from like a couple hundred to three or four five hundred dollars per device, they're not cheap. But I will tell you that we have now been living with Sonos for years, yeah. and I have never once. And we paid money for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. They've given us a few, but we've bought most of it. Okay. Um, I have never regretted the purchase. I've never regretted spending the money and everyone in the household, everyone in the building, everyone everywhere loves it. So I would say if you're, if you're looking for a good, you know, high quality music system for your home or office, I really think you can go, you'll be happy with Sonos and you can start with just a few pieces. Yeah. And I then started afterwards with one add. in my house and then added to yeah. it as time went on. And now I have one in every room. Um, but you know, it's, it's nice to be, it really is nice to be able to walk from you know, one room to another to another yeah. and just have it continuously going. It's fantastic. It really is. All so, right, guys, that's your Sonos update. Let so, us know if you have any questions. Leave a comment below. Or let us know if you get some. Which yeah. ones do you have? I'm curious to know how you've got your yeah, setup. Yeah, let me know what's the most popular. Yeah, thumbs up on YouTube. Terrific, <laughs> you got them. Bye. And philosophy is like the most unscientific creation of mankind ever. Let's face it. Raspberry Pi has been the hit of the hacker slash makerspace community. It's a On today's holiday gift guide, we're giving you all kinds of ideas for what to give somebody on